hero's journey, eh? So a lot of us know deep inside of us that we're destined for greater, we're destined for more in life, and we have big dreams, big visions. The last couple of years, a lot of us have let the external world dictate what's happening to that dream. Um, we, you could say the economy, inflation, um, the World Economic Forum fucking with our shit, um, <laughs> lockdowns, all that type of stuff, right? So a lot of people have had, I guess, their dream, their vision, this doubt, a seed of doubt and a seed of despair that has been kind of downloaded into our psyche that's holding us back from what we know to be true. So if we know this to be true, and there's all these other things that are, yes, they're messing with our mojo, but behind that messing with the mojo, there's a deeper part of us that knows it's our destiny, what's actually stopping us. And what I've realized for a lot of people is there's that commitment and consistency those daily tasks, so for example, getting up, going for a workout, um, that are holding us back. Because what we need is we need our body to be the vessel that can hold the vibration of everything that we're worth. And if we don't look after our body, then the vibration can't be held. It might be held for a little bit, but then retract, a little bit, retract, a little bit, retract. And so I guess this is where I step in, eh? So one of my skill sets is that I'm a really bloody good coach. And whether you get coaching from me or you get coaching from someone else, I think it's really, really, well, it's not, I think I bloody know it's really, really important that you have someone that's going to hold you accountable to actually create the dream that you desire. And as a Czech practitioner and all my other skill sets, PPS success, which is one of them, personal, professional, and spiritually, spiritual mastery practitioner, is we look at the whole. Okay, so first of all, we've got to get your health and vitality up to a place where you actually have the energy focus um, and, and then that creates the commitment to actually move towards your dream. Because if you don't have energy focus, you're never going to be able to create anything, right? Because uh, you're constantly exhausted and just the task of getting out of bed is the actual main task of the day. Once we can get you to a level of vitality and life source uh, that you're kind of emanating this glow, then we can start to move you to closer towards your dream. And we always have the dream as the driving factor, right? So the big vision. Um, and a lot of us kind of dream a little bit too small because we think, oh, logically, um, you know, we think logically that we can't create that certain thing, right? But if we actually go into that deeper spirit aspect of ourselves, we know that it's our destiny and that's the thing. So I'm speaking to the people that know they're here for greater things. Now, if you come to someone like me or a coach, that's you've got, to, you've got to be really careful of your coach because they've got to be the one that's not the savior. You want someone that guides you to your own wisdom and guide you to make the internal changes in yourself because if you pick someone that's a savior, what's going to happen is you're constantly going to need to be saved, right? So you kind of, you need them forever. You want a coach that actually becomes obsolete after a while because you're um, you're so anchored in your truth that you know you're unshakable. So someone like me, what I'll do is I actually <laughs> get you from A to B, and the B, the, the the goal might seem so distant and so far, and that's why you haven't created it. And you have to sit with yourself and go, why the bloody hell haven't you created it? And the reason you haven't created it is because you don't know the steps. You don't know actually how to get there. And somewhere inside you, you do, but you've lost track of that. And so the way I work with people is, number one, get the health and vitality up to a really powerful source, right? Once you've got your um, vitality, um, you can focus. Your, your laser focus becomes a lot clearer. And you can see the tasks that you should do and the tasks that you shouldn't do. The people you should be around, the people you shouldn't be around, et cetera, et cetera. And then we start to dream and we, we, we start to feel it a little bit deeper. And when you feel it a little bit deeper, because um, now you've got the energy. Once you've got the energy, you're kind of unstoppable, right? You just keep going, keep going, keep going. And um, then you achieve it. Pretty simple, eh? Um, 
but it's not simple because a lot of us don't know where the blockages are so there's deep emotional blockages that come up so the you know feelings of self-worth not good enough um etc etc there's the villains in the story so oh i've been hard done by or i'm the bad person whatever whatever um there's the distractions oh social media all this all that um there's you know, there's all these kind of, there's the shadow parts of ourselves and the shadow parts of society that hold us back from actually anchoring in that dream. So I guess, I guess I'm going to leave this up to you. I'd highly recommend that you hire a coach and I would highly recommend that you don't wait to new year, new you, which is a great, it's actually one of our doTERRA promotions, new year, new you, um, which we focus on creating a new you right it's the new year let's create a new you but the problem is that most people I think it's like 99 percent of people don't actually achieve their new year's resolution um, most people don't even write it down they just kind of say it and then that's it um so why wait why wait till the new year you know what's the difference between now and then i don't know it's, it's a personal question for you to sit and ponder but there's no time like the present to make change. Okay, there's no time like the present. Um, so I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching. Um, and they are, I've, I made, a, I guess, an announcement yesterday that I'm, I'm not going to fuck around with the low pricing models anymore because what I've noticed is people aren't committed and they're not consistent. And I can't offer them everything when you're kind of scrimping or I can't offer them that because then, you know, my profits not existed, right? Or my... You know, I'm, I'm working at it at a level that I'm not even making enough money to put my heart and soul into this. So if you are the type of person that's committed and I guess you could say courageous um, and want to be consistent and want to get your ass kicked a little bit, like I'm not, I'm the type of person that's pretty blunt. I say it with love, but I'm not going to play into the stories because what most of you have done, including myself, is we surround ourselves by people that play into our story. Okay, they play into the doom and gloom of the world. And when you actually understand that in every type of recession, depression, more millionaires and billionaires are made, right? It's because some people go, let's penny scrimp and other people I'm fucking all in. I'm going to invest in myself and I'm going to make shit happen. And those are the ones that are highly successful in these periods. Um, so I guess I'll leave that to you. Um, which pathway you want to take, whether it's with me or with someone else, Hopefully, though, this video has kind of kicked you up the butt a little bit to get in there and do something. Get in there and have a crack. Um, because if you don't have a crack, no one's going to come and save you. No one's going to come fix you. Um, you've got to be the one that pushes, you know, starts to climb that mountain. You might be looking at it and going, fuck, this is going to cost a lot of money or it's going to cost a lot of time. Or, you know, you might be on that mindset, right? But it's not costing, it's investing. You want to get to the top of that fucking mountain. You want to be the hero of your story. you got to fucking create it. No one else. All right? So peace. Love you all. Got to get back to the gym because um, I was using this <laughs> little distraction. <laughs> peace.